So now that you've created your QR codes, how do we get students to actually scan them? You'll have to put in a tech request for the QR Reader app, which looks like a QR code with a scan bar on top. The first time they open it, you'll get two of those white boxes. The first will ask if it can access their camera. The second will ask about notifications. Both time those white boxes pop up, have them click OK. So they'll click OK, OK, and then you'll see the camera turns on the iPad. So now I have one of those QR codes that I made. I'm going to put it in front of me here. And I'm going to just hold up my iPad, and you'll see it scans it. And so this is that compass picture that I uploaded earlier. I can also click out of that by clicking on the X. Let's try that YouTube video that I did earlier. And you'll see it will take me directly to that YouTube video. Another neat thing about this app is it saves the history of what you visited. So if I click on the X in the top right, and then you see there's a, like a little um, clock on the top left. Um, and I'm just going to do no thanks here. You can see the different places I visited. So there's the YouTube um, link, and then there was the um, picture saved in my Google Drive. So you can go back as well. So it easily takes students right to where they need to go. It keeps track of where they went. And it's a really easy way to get students to different resources on the internet. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And I hope this helped.